five seconds or so until the action kicks off. We got ourselves a Tuscan hardpoint in the platinum pre-made semifinals. I think we've got a banger up ahead of us here. I absolutely do. It's going to be Denver starting off on that preferred side, going to have that early rotation of P2, but we got time different here with the MP40 in hand. Three kills do go the way of Denver Surrender. I'm different staying alive to pick up that fourth. They got some control now, and it looks like I'm different already playing to uh, to get this field set control here. Yeah, I mean, I'm different already going to be off to a three streak. Almost gets the four, but Shoku going to do a good job of cutting him down. Atlanta still getting a bunch of this time towards this P1. Looks like maybe at some point in time, they're going to try to maybe rotate through the middle of the map there, try to get some pressure towards those P2 spawns. But Denver still trying to get as much pressure from that outer field side towards this P1. And I'm different and the boys just keep pushing on through. I'm different doing his best to make sure he gets some help over here towards field. James helping him out. I'm different and James pushing their way through these back spawns, opening up the middle of the map for their teammates a little bit for them to try to move up through that top green broken area. But Denver surrender holding strong for this P2 hold. Yeah, they do have some sort of a rotation here, but Atlanta Day is putting the pressure on. Kill, team kill does come through for Atlanta, so that may be tough on this push, but you still have um, some solid ground to uh, to be covered here to make your way to the hill. James, the closest one to the time, and now Poncho finds himself in that top radio area. And right now, if you're Atlanta Days, I think the most important thing to do would be to try to keep Denver off of the hill. You don't necessarily need to take that hill control right now but you can take your time and uh find denver off that time that's all that's a w at the end of the day for this hill but they have already found their control here denver is making their way back into it but atlanta day is still looming around the area yeah atlanta trying to make sure they keep this one contested denver going to be pushing all the way to the back of that p3 which is going to be falling all the way back there he's going to be followed up by his teammates hotbox god and dak but shoku doing a really good job getting as much time as possible towards this p2 just trying to make sure no one gets this time for free he's going to end up getting a kill over there before getting taken down and he got another 10 seconds or so for his team before being forced to rotate via the death box that's for sure but uh now atlanta day is making a push over towards this back p3 zone at the moment things are going to get a little bit spicy real quick jay going to be the first one to fall over in the back side of the map there denver Trying to hold this one down the best they can, but Atlanta pushing in from multiple angles at the moment. They're going to be on towards that roof side and coming down from that front fire. That's going to be three kills in favor of them right off the bat. Hotbox God, the only one left alive, and he's just trying to do what he can to make sure his teammates can help him out. Yeah, and Atlanta is very quickly turned from breaking that hill to uh, finding some solid uh, map, some solid presence here toward the back of the map. They do get rebroken, but Poncho's still here to try to shut it down. Atlanta Day is up 30 plus points here now, and Poncho. He's getting kills all over the place. Eight and seven now on a three streak. He does get taken down by Shoku. And the Denver Surrender Swarm coming back into this hill. Shoku, the last player alive, fighting for that scrap time. He is able to find it. And uh, that 10 points may be big, especially if Denver can find these rotational kills. Yeah, the rotational kill is going to be very important at the moment. Going to be seeing it. We're going to see a ton of pressure from Atlanta Days over towards this new hill. Going to be one player over there. That's going to be falling. Picks up one before getting taken down. There's going to be one more player close by. That's going to be Shoku, who just cleaned up those last 10 seconds or so on that P3. But now he's going to be around the back, picking up a big kill. He's got one more to deal with. That's James, who takes him down. And now Hotbox God in code, trying to push from the middle of the map. They've got one up top, couple from behind and the front at the same time. Poncho getting a couple of those kills right there. Looks like I'm different, getting taken down in the back as well. Denver doing a good job getting some solid time on this hill. And Atlanta looking like they want to make a nice solid push to get this one taken back. Yeah, the slang pretty much even all across the board here. It might be absolutely even, but uh, Atlanta Day is still coming out to a solid lead. And, you know, I think in my in my uh, perspective, that shows like some solid teamwork from across the board. Atlanta Days isn't blowing Denver out of the water in the kill category, but they're able to get those rotations. They're able to play their trades very effectively, and it's getting them a lot of time here. Like Denver Surrender on this new hill, but look at that. Atlanta Day is already fine two on the board. Is they able to find oh. four? They do now. Denver back toward that back church spawn, and they're forced to break here. And, you know, while P5 might be known as a mixy hill, when you have all four players far away from the hill, it's it can be really hard to break this. Yeah, Jay, you're going to be in that close quarter just trying to get those initial kills. But Dak going to answer with a nice two-piece. He had one kill right before that as well. So nice little three-piece on the life right there. Shoku trying to just push out a little bit towards this bottom well. He's going to have some pressure from up top. His teammates should be able to clear that one out a little bit. But Atlanta Days, they've got four players close by this P5. Looks like they're going to make a move. Some kills going back and forth. Denver at the advantage at the moment. Shoku trying to just jump shot some people from down below. Last player alive for Atlanta that's super close is going to get taken down. That's I'm different. Still a one final push from Atlanta coming in. Denver holding strong here, getting a ton of time, getting themselves 
keeping it super close in this game, but it is going to still be contested by Atlanta as they're getting some of this time as well. But the P1 rotation is going to be absolutely massive as the boys over in Atlanta are already going to be over there. Yes, CNK, me and you both know how much of a money hill this P1 can be on the second rotation of hills. So Denver only going to have maybe like one or two opportunities to break this. And you got James playing at that pillar <laughs> side, snaking it to perfection, finds the two kills. And now the rest of Atlanta days can come and flood their way into that time. They're pushing outfield at the same time. Dak is able to take down James, but the reinforcements should be here but before too long. And Poncho on the flank as well. Can he find one? He does, and he finds a second as well. The third just falls through his hands, but uh, Atlanta Day is off to a fantastic start here in the second rotation of Hills, and they get uh, Denver to flip as well. Yeah, the flip coming in from Denver. They are going to be pushing on into this hill. They should be able to get some of this time if possible, but Poncho and James and Co. making sure they keep this one pushed out. There's going to be one player around the back. That's going to be Hotbox got up, to, uh, got up towards top broken there. He's going to push all the way to the back spawns. He's going to grab those for his team for that P2 rotation, but once again, see the p1 pretty much fully go in favor of atlanta days like we saw the first time around this p2 gonna be massive for the denver squad but i'm different he's got some words with some fellows on this team he's gonna be just trying to wreak some havoc in this back spawn here atlanta days trying to get themselves as situated as possible but denver just flowing in at a nice constant pace making sure things stay as confusing as possible and the problem is there for Denver is that players two and three push through that church side of the map and get their teammates to spawn toward the back side of that tank. And that's exactly where you want to be spawning if you are the Atlanta days right now. You have 40 seconds left to get, but Denver doing a, a relatively solid job right now of keeping them off the hill. Atlanta playing for a push, and as soon as they do, they are able to break it. They find three Shoku the last alive. And the, the secondary problem for Denver might be at this point, you don't want those those field spawns, those back train spawns, because you have to run all across the map. And look at James, player four, already at that back wine area. So Denver going to be fighting an uphill battle. Atlanta days have really turned it around here in the second half. Yeah, I mean, Atlanta days just absolutely frying as a squad, working together very well. But they're going to be ready for this rotation, it looks like, as a squad. Denver kind of a little bit of in a sandwich at the moment trying to get on this hill but they're going to push on through shoku pick it up the first one almost gets a second would have been a big kill but hotbox god trying to help him out there now that's going to be dak hotbox god and the rest of them trying to push in from that field arches side right now trying to help each other out here atlanta days looks like they're going to be pushing all pretty much at the same time james from up top one player coming in from those back roof at the same time but right now denver having a really solid hold getting a bunch of these early kills and the things are looking really good for them on this p3 yeah, Denver absolutely make the best of a bad situation. And Shoku sneaks his way through that top fire side, gets his way toward that backside. He does end up dying, but it's enough uh, influence to really get those spawns in for the Denver Surrender. So they're able to get those kills, get a lot of time here on this P3. Hotbox got still toward the backside. They do get that final 16, but you got player eight and player five uh, on the rotation here trying to take down Poncho. And, uh, you know, maybe not as easy of a task as you may think. Yeah, definitely not. The guy's an absolute beast. 20 and 19 right now, but definitely doesn't show the amount of pressure and the amount of, like, insane play that he has been doing in this game at all. But now we're going to see a bunch of gunfights going back and forth over towards this P4 right now. Fallen, trying to shoot his teammates a little bit, you know, just make sure they're <laughs> up and ready to go. Got to make sure they know what's going on at all times. This guy is just spinning around like crazy. He has no idea where these guys from Atlanta are going to come from. He gets in a 1v1 with Poncho. Going to lose that one. James and Poncho pushing this one in. Dak, though, holding it down for the boys right now. James pushes in from the back on a four streak, trying to make sure he keeps this one extended. Going to get that five before getting taken down. But Atlanta is going to do a good job making sure they grab this hill. They're going to start getting some of the kills on the outskirts as well. But the P5 rotation looking like it's coming in a little bit early as Denver does need to try to get this time on this P4. It looks like they may be fighting for the scrap here. Poncho, though, picking up two off the break, leaving Hotbox got the last one alive. He sees James push out there toward that side area, and he gets swarmed by the Atlanta days. And now it might be kind of a foot race here for the rotation here. And player four coming behind three Denver Surrender players here. That's James. He is able to pick up one, and he finesses his way toward that L area, gets taken down now. Kind of a three on three battle here for this new hill falling in a really solid spot but i'm different with the instant chow and takes him down denver surrender with the control now and you got to try to uh to play your life as long as possible if you're on the denver surrender because you don't have much room to spare here only 17 points before atlanta days win this map one 
Yeah, every inch needs to be fought for 100%. Denver Surrender doing a good job at the moment, picking up kills left, right, and center. They're holding down the middle of the map, holding down the front of the objective, but here we go. A big push from Atlanta Day is coming in. All four players coming up. One going to go down, but that's going to be Poncho answering back, but Shoku picks up a big two before getting taken out by a grenade. The guys of Denver have to get on this one pretty quick. They can still lose it here if they don't get this one contested. 10 more seconds for Atlanta Days, and they'll take this one. Denver Surrender going to need another 60. The kill's coming in for Atlanta. Hotbox God from down below going to pick up one, trying to stay alive the best he can, waiting for some team help. Picks up that second, goes for the third, but Poncho going to take him down, and that's going to be it right there. It looks like as Atlanta picking up all the kills. One more second. And, or, ah, for a second, I thought the rotation was going to be necessary. But don't quite need it as Atlanta going to take that one 250 to 190. They just barely get that final tick on P5 to take that map. It only went back, almost went back toward that P1, but uh, they get saved at the last possible second. Uh, but I'm curious to see if they do have a big vocal leader on their team that can maybe get those communications going, convince everyone, hey, that's the play. That's what we got to get going. But right off the bat here, we're going to see the Atlanta dazed with this bomb. Looks like they want to take it. Uh, towards that B bomb site, they do have I'm Different, that one of those monster SMG players pushing out this A site, but we're going to see Shoku all the way in the back of the map with that nice little sniper glint going on. So it looks like he's got the boomstick ready to go. Yeah, and player eight and Dak might have been able to see one cross. First blood goes the way of Denver. Secondary goes the way of Denver as well. James finds his way off that bomb, is able to pick up Dak, but now finds himself all alone. Mm. I'm Different evens it up in a 2v2 scenario now, which leaves Shoku and Fallen. Fallen with that SMG shoku with almost the the polar opposite the car 98 let's see how they can use that in tandem right here you got i'm different holding that p5 and he's gonna pick up shoku right now no doubt about it now i'm falling in a 1v2 and the only the only upside is both of these players very separate yeah right now there's gonna be a little bit of space between these guys looks like they're gonna try to close that gap a little bit fallen looks like he wants to go for this ninja diffuse here and might be possible i take it back i was gonna say it looks like that bomb hasn't been checked in a while but james he's like Did you hear that? someone clicking a keyboard or something over here he just hears those loud clicks you know i know he can't hear anything but he checks it at the right time he gets it done they do a good job there you know what's funny though he probably has no idea when that when he actually got on the bomb so he's probably like, i mean that could have almost been diffused not gonna lie yeah i mean that's one of those moments you're like out. i wonder how close he was because <laughs> like you just really don't know but i mean denver surrender got both first bloods atlanta days clutch up a two before i mean you got to think if you're denver that's one you want back yeah, 100%. And now Atlanta, though, they're going to be buzzing right now. They're on that defense. They're ready to go, starting things out as hot as you possibly can. But Denver making this move towards the A bomb site. There's going to be one player down below in that back bottom corner. Actually, there's two back there. You're going to have I'm Different and James watching the exact same angle. And I'm Different going to pick up that first kill. Fallen looks like he wants to make a move on it, but he's going to run into two Ooh. players. Gets taken down. That's going to be a 2v4 situation in favor of the Atlanta Days. About to make it a 1v4, it looks like. Ooh. James does get taken down. Hotbox got in the 1v3. Doesn't last very long as um player with the automaton front warehouse is able to take him down. And I wanted to say, I like the confidence out of I'm different there, outer side of the map. He just gets stunned in the face and doesn't even move at all. Just holds your irons, waiting for someone to chow, and he's able to find one. I mean, it, it, se it seems like these boys are confident here. Oh, yeah, 100%. And I think a big thing with that, though, is he knows he has his teammate right behind him. I'm sure they're communicating. They know each other are there. They're looking at their mini maps, and they know that, hey, if someone jumps down on me, he's got him. I just got to watch my long angle. But still, I mean, the guy's got an SMG, and he's getting it done for the boys. And uh, right now, we've got our, got two players on Atlanta Day. is going to be 3-0 as they push out this A bomb site with the bomb here. They've got one player kind of behind them right now. And that is going to be that number five player fall. And they're checking everything they can on this A side. It, Denver definitely knows something's going on over here in Atlanta. Not really sniffing out any of these players, but the bomb is going to start to get planted right now. And player five and fallen is could potentially make a play here. He finds his way outer, puts shots into one, but isn't able to get either. Trying to make the play here. Gets chowed by James and insta dies. Three four situation now for the Denver surrender. Poncho oh. catches one, jumping through the window, able to pick up Dak. Is he able to see Shoku and Hotbox? He does. Not sure he knows that it's two different people, but uh, Jay is able to pick up Hotbox. So the last one alive will be Shoku in a 1v4. Uh, probably not the most optimal situation for him, yeah. and it doesn't uh, go his way. Atlanta Day is steamrolling this S&D so far 3-0. I mean, shout out Poncho on the flank, though. That guy, he turns that corner by those double stairs, and he's like, oh, my God, I see three people right now. <laughs> he probably had no idea what to do. He kills the close guy to help his teammates out in that A-bomb site and immediately just gets shots on those guys over by P5. 
And I mean, this Atlanta team is absolutely buzzing right now. You got James at five and zero. You got Poncho three and zero on a three streak. I'm different three. Sorry, Poncho's three and one, but uh, I'm different three and zero on a three streak. And then Jay, he's one and two right now, but he's on a one streak. That's all that matters. He's got the streak going. But this yeah, team I'm, is absolutely fried. They are. They sure are. CNK. If you're James, you know you're really looking for these streaks right now. Denver seeming to be rearing up for a big hit here on that A bomb site. It looks like player two in. I'm different is going to be ready for it. Trying to play in that office side of the map, Fallen, just trying to find any room that he can. All of Atlanta days looking straight into that A bomb site. I'm different. He's able to find one. Find Shoku as well. Double five streaks for the Atlanta days. Two alive now for Denver. Hotbox, is he able to get it closer? He does, but Dak gets taken down. I'm different on a six. And Hotbox left in a 1v3. I feel like I've said this before, CNK. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel like the last couple of rounds, this is what it's become, 1v3s, 1v4s. James going to get that last kill. And, I mean, Atlanta days are looking absolutely minty in this S&D right now. Getting off to a strong, commanding 4-0 star. James on that six streak. And the guy, the guy's one off of streaks right now. If he could get that glide bomb going, I don't know if he's ever going to use it because he might not ever <laughs> need it because by the time he uses it, the round will be over with the rate this, <laughs> like this stuff is going on right now. But, I mean... You got two guys on six streaks on Atlanta days. You got to turn one of those into streaks. You got to get that glide bomb going just to, just to, just for us, just as people <laughs> watching, right? We need to see it happen. No, we do. I mean, if we could see doubles, that would be uh, fantastic. I'd love to see that. Always a good double in the game. And James playing a nice little ratty corner. That's exactly what you want to see if you're if one of your teammates is playing those streaks. Shoku in uh, in what we would call a shotsy spot right now, standing on a fire hose. That's a new one, CNK. I will say, Poncho does find one. And Atlanta Day is just playing it slow, waiting for some information. And it looks like they're probably going to be leaning toward this B bomb side now that they've gotten the pick over there. Yeah, I mean, my boy James right now, he's breaking every window in Berlin right now. He's not okay with it. Look, at he breaks another one. This guy's just doing the amount of personal property damage this man is doing is not okay. But Atlanta Days, in a 4v3 situation, they're very comfortable at the moment. Fallen going to be towards these outer stairs. Jay trying to hunt him down right now. Fallen, he's going to get himself a nice, easy free kill. He's going to try to get his life out of here as well. But James going to be flying at him. Going to pick up that seventh kill. Oh, not quite yet. Fallen does end up getting taken down. But James... He gets the man with the happy feet taken off the map, and that's going to give him his glide bomb. But now Shoku, he's going to make things into a 2v2 situation for him and Dak. I'm different, still looking for his kill streak as well. But, you know, 2v2 situation now for the uh, for the squads. And, you know, if you're Denver, this probably isn't a situation you want to be in, given both of these players are deathless so far. The kill almost comes in for one. Shoku in a 1v1 scenario, looking for James. Sees his little head pop up. And he's playing the snake game. The stun comes in. He has an MP40 in his back pocket, though. Shoku chasing him down. James running away, trying to wrap through the bottom secret area. Shoku hops onto the bomb. He gets off of it, and he slides at the right time. Shoku with a great clutch, if I can say so myself. And he makes it a 4-1 to one game here. The only problem is Atlanta Days now have two glide bombs in their pockets. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely not a fun situation to be in. But I tell you what, Shoku, though, he gets a nice round on the board for the team, but also makes a big play against one of those top-tier players against James there. I thought James outsmarted Shoku for a second, but Shoku by far outsmarted James. And that's what I like to see. The man is he's getting it done for the boys, getting the round on the board. He's on that three streak as well. So here we go, right? They're going to be on the offensive side now. Let's see if they can get themselves another one. Let's see if they can. Maybe some momentum. Uh, comes into play here for the Denver Surrender. I mean, if you're Denver Surrender and you can get Atlanta Days to use at least one glide bomb and uh, win the round, that may be some uh, solid situation, but bad mm. timing. As I say that, to go in the favor of the Atlanta Days, Hotbox God and Fallen going to be left in a 2v4. We've seen Atlanta Days do it. Let's see if we can see Denver do it. And uh, sadly, they don't. We don't even get to see the glide bombs. <laughs> Come on, man. This last round, there's going to be a bombing run coming in. If you are Denver Surrender, I don't know what you got to do. Find yourself a nuclear bum bunker or something because it's going to feel like you're getting carpet bombed with how many of these bombs are going to be flying in. It's going to be wild. Then. Yeah, I mean, strafing runs are GA at CNK, but if you do have multiple glide bombs, you can make a glide bomb run if, uh, if so you know, sweet. you want to find some, you know, creativity. Here we got I'm Different with the Automaton. And then we got James with a glide bomb as well. We'll call him James and the giant glide bomb for this game. But let's see what he can do with it. Denver Surrender. Uh, trying to get some map control here. 
and Shoku may have an opening toward that P5 side or that P2 side. He is able to find James, but the giant glide bomb comes in behind him. He sees three in P2 and he gets nothing with it. So, I mean, if Denver can win this round, then definitely a huge dub for them. Yeah, one less glide bomb to worry about for sure. Going to be a 2v4 situation in favor of Denver. I'm different. Trying to do Ooh. some different things, but going to get taken down by the man, the myth, the legend, Shoku right there, who's going to get himself to the nice 5-5 five and five marker on the map. Last player alive, going to be Jay. Trying to work this 1v4 the best he can. Has no idea where where he wants to go, but he is going to get taken down. It. Hey, when you get in a 1v4 and you have no idea where literally anyone's at, that's when you're just like, ah, ah, I'm looking for somebody. <laughs> like, hey, anyone around? Anyone home? Let's see if I can catch a timing here. That's your really thought process. But, you know, not a not a great situation to be in. And, you know, CNK, we've seen this happen before. You know, team has a very dominant start to the game. And then, you know, the team that's, you know, down 5-1, 5-2 or whatever, finds some momentum. And uh, maybe Atlanta Days let up on the gas a little bit. Denver Surrender put the pedal to the metal. I think very fast. If, if Atlanta Days can't find a round here, this could get very dangerous for them. But right now, still up 5-2 to two here. But Poncho, the only player to shut down this B push as Shoku and Fallen seem to be both making their way into that bomb site. Yeah, the boys on Denver trying to get this bomb down as fast as possible. They're going to be set up and waiting. Poncho, the closest player from Atlanta Days, is immediately going to make his move, trying to do what he can to get someone down so his teammates have a little bit easier push on over. They're making their way over as well from the middle of the map by that fire building. Denver Surrender what they can to reposition to be prepared for this Dak almost gets the first kill but gets taken down by James this is going to be a big kill for Atlanta Days with their nice little opener kills I mean shots going back and forth Atlanta picks up the second one as well now a 2v4 situation falling in the B point he's going to pick up one tries to push out gets taken down last player alive now going to be hot box guy he does get spotted and oh taken down swiftly the team shots come in and Atlanta Days able to take that one home James 13 and 2 on the game i mean i don't even know if he had he did use his glide bomb but i don't know if yeah, he had I to mean, cnk it, i mean that was a great game yeah and he also i'm pretty sure he went like 33 and 20 in the first game as well so right now james you name it so this is going to be pretty big here Denver surrender going to be taking that priority towards the a point they've got a couple guys in the middle of the map at atlanta going to doing be doing their best to immediately counter that dak with the first pick on the map that's three down immediately on the side of atlanta days denver surrender looking really good they're going to immediately send some guys around the back to try to wreck these spawns up but that's going to be i'm different around the back of the map as well but he's going to get taken down by hotbox god this a point already almost gone in denver looking pretty good yeah, I mean, Denver, solid, solid start to the map. You know, you get taken down a little bit as you cap that eight point, but, you know, falling with two big ones to uh, start off the game. And you got two minutes and 20 seconds left to get that uh, B control point. You know, I, I'm not sure personally if I've ever seen uh, that much time left on a control round. Yeah, that's actually, that's honestly quite a bit. I'm sure you can't get much more than that with how long it takes to get to the objective and everything. But now the push going to be coming in from Denver Surrender going to be the second attempt towards this B point. Kills pretty back and forth, but overall, Atlanta going to be shutting that one down and immediately getting ready for the next push. Denver trying to get spawned up and ready to go, but look at Atlanta start to push right on into this back spawn. Uh, Poncho going to get taken down by Shoku, but James still is around the well in the middle of the map, just trying to just do what he can. But look at these guys from Atlanta. They're grouping up once again, making sure they're ready to go. And Denver got to make a push and they got to get it now. Yeah, they absolutely do. I think what you need to do here is kind of get together. You know, it's taken a while for, for the squad here to get into this P5 area. And now it's a 2v3 on that point. Jay going to be at the top side. Shoku gets taken down, Fallen comes in for the trade. And now the push starts again. You know, you already got Dak trying to chill out that plat side area. He gets taken down. And, you know, if you're Denver Surrender, you know, you need, you need to just all find some space here. You all need to have, you know, a, a complete... A complete game plan here going into this push and right now it just seems like they can get no space on the map here yeah i mean atlanta doing everything they can to keep these spawns pushed in as far as they can i mean guys like i'm different making plays like that james coming in picks up one as well picks up two actually just completely stalls this push out but now denver surrender trying to push through that p5 side of the map jay gonna be the one closest by to deal with that but i'm different look at him just push right on through here. he's gonna keep that pressure alive on denver but denver pushing right on out now they're gonna have some guys on that point now but james gonna shut down the first one he's ready to go for these next ones as well pushing out towards patio but fallen picking up a big kill right there atlanta spread out pretty far across this b side of the map right now trying to stop this denver push and denver just trying to keep things contested get some time on the board allow that clock to stop but there's only three lives left make it two lives left that's gonna be hotbox god and shoku versus the world now it's gonna be shoku versus the world just like we saw in that snd a few times yeah and i liked what i saw there out of denver surrender 
uh, 13 seconds left shoku you could just jump off if you want to you know it's it's like it's kind of chucked here pal you know you he's can't like, get on that thing he's thinking about it and there he goes oh, five man. seconds left to go uh shout out shoku for you know saving that five seconds but you know I, I was i was harping on it there in the beginning of those pushes you know denver was segmented they were kind of doing whatever and you know those second couple pushes they really worked in their favor they tried mm -hmm. to uh, to find some pushes at that plat side and it went their way they weren't able to get any ticks on the board but i think if they had kept that up for the whole round they may have been able to find some progress there but instead uh, they're able to get the a point which is you know that's that's the absolute minimum that you want on tuscan control for an offense so you know that's a w right here but the the next part the next hard part is going to be to shut down atlanta days on this offense yeah, Atlanta Days on the offense. One player coming around the back. Poncho, he's oh, no. over there getting assassinated right now. Not the move, but Shoku. Nice big kill right there. Dak and answer with one as well. One more player over on that A point. That's going to be James. Finally going to get taken down. That second tick does not come all the way through, but now the B point could be at harm here if you're the Denver Surrender. But no, I mean, Atlanta Days just trying to push right out through this A point. They've got one player to deal with, though. Up in their top fire, and they're going to be back on that A time. They've got one player pushed up towards the top middle of the map. That's going to be I'm different. And things are looking pretty good for Atlanta, but Denver, they've got guys everywhere. Yeah, they absolutely do. They're pushing through that P5 side, but the problem here is I'm different all the way through already. Dak finding the pistol kill. I mean, you know, it may not seem like it, but that's kind of a big kill in the Ooh, grand scheme of things. And you get a quick four down here as well. I'm different. Going to be quick to that P5 area, but Dak going to be nice and calm here, patient, waiting for me. He isn't able to find either, though. All four Atlanta Days players pushing through, and they have an open B site right now. Fallen, able to pick up one, but the rest of Atlanta Days still alive here in, in some spots that Denver Surrender definitely don't want them to be. Yeah, I mean, Denver Surrender are going to be able to get some of these players dead, but they still got to deal with the fact that Poncho going to be in their back church. Never mind. He's completely dead, but I'm different. Still back there. The guy is pretty diffy on the map as well, so you got to watch out for him. Atlanta trying to make their way off of the spawn, trying to make their way towards the B point. At A point, completely captured. Denver has the defense going, but they've got to deal with this player. That's going to be I'm different in the back. Gets taken down. Shoku gets one in the top P5 as well. He's got one more to deal with. That's going to be Poncho. Gets that big kill as well. One more guy pushing him out. That's going to be Jay. He gets that nice little trade out. But now Denver Surrender has the ability to take their time, maybe get a setup going before this Atlanta squad pushes in from P5. The first kill is going to be coming in. There, Here comes the push from Atlanta. Two kills for Fallen. His teammate's going to be trying to cover that up as what? well. Hoplox got, I don't even know what gun this is, but it's frying. I mean, it killed pretty fast, so you got to tip that. But the AS-44? Like, what the heck? It was the AS-44 CNK. I'm different. Trying to push out this rooftop side. And, you know, I like what I'm seeing out of Hotbox, Scott. Trying to switch things up a little bit. And, I mean, it's working in their favor. Up up nine lives here as uh, as the round uh, rears its ugly head. I mean, I'm going to be honest. This isn't going to be like an HBR situation, is it? I don't think so. I mean, as long as Denver Surrender don't choke the 16-4 to lead, which they won't, Ooh. as Shoku, proficient with both weapons on the map, pulling out the MP40 again and does get taken down. But 15v3. You know, you got to expect Denver to take this one home. Yeah, Denver doing a good job on this defense. And they're doing a good job of making sure they're getting just as many kill, like a kill death situation as the round they lost, right? And now there's going to be two left for the side of Atlanta. Make that one. That's going to be James in a 1v13. Definitely doable. You know, he can get it done. He's just trying to finesse his way around this back alley right now. Going to get another big kill right there. Let's see if he can maybe just get a few more, get this kill difference down. No, he's definitely not. But, uh, hey, that's a, a nice A take from Atlanta there. They... One, hey, just like the the Denver side, right? Nobody able to really get anything going on the B side. They get a couple of good pushes that look like maybe they're going to get there, but just doesn't quite work out. Yeah, I mean, I think they were kind of sprinting there. Uh, Dak, on a five streak, though, this could mean a lot if you can find two more. But, you know, one thing I do want to point out is Denver going to be leading in lives here, uh, you know, by I think uh, I think two. You know, the ticks are tied. So, you know, at this point, it goes to the life count if, if it stays that way. But for now... Uh, Denver Surrender trying to make a B push, but I'm different. Quick to shut that down. Yeah, I mean, the guy is the Whoa. man, the myth, the legend. Hotbox God, though, with the AS-44, picking up a nice quick kill. Shoku, this guy's got a Tommy gun out. I mean, what is going on right now? We got the Prohibition era or something going down on Tuscan. Trying to switch some things up. And, uh, I mean, he's going to push all the way to the back spawn. He doesn't care. No one's around. Nobody even knows he's there. That's going to allow Denver to get a little bit of time towards A, but look at Atlanta. They're just going all in towards this A site, but the B site, they've got a They've got guys everywhere right now. Denver's behind them. I thought they were going to maybe try to get on B, but no, they clean up all the kills. They start the A point. Shoku still has this Tommy gun out. Going to try to push things through over towards field. He's up against Poncho, though, who has a normal competitive gun, I guess. I don't, I don't know. 
<laughs> I mean, who knows what's normal anymore in this game? You know, you got AS44s, you got Tommy guns. I mean, I mean, we can't even say what is expected anymore out of this squad. I think Denver might be trying to make Atlanta lose full somewhat, and it seems to be oh, yeah. working in some sort of the sense. I mean, Hotbox and Shoku uh, both trying to switch things up here, and they get that A point. And this time around, I think it, if you're Denver, you know, you probably want to slow things down here. Try to group around one player specifically here on the map and uh, maybe try to find a good push here. But, you know, for now, all of them spread out all over the place. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to make a plan of some kind maybe to go down. But Atlanta, at the moment, just trying to push out of their territory, making sure they keep things buffered out as far as they can on the map. There's gunfights going down pretty much everywhere right now. Kills going somewhat back and forth. That P5 side looks like it's going to be the opening for... Denver to maybe make a move, but that is going to be watched by Poncho. The first couple shots coming in from that back church area. Poncho also getting in gunfights over towards that P5. The flank coming in from I've Different. Jay, Poncho, and I've Different all just completely encircling these guys. Takes them down. Jay trying to kill his teammate and get shot in the back because of it. That's going to be falling. A little bit of bad juju there. But now Poncho trying to hold things down for the boys. Getting shot in the back. Denver maybe having a little bit of a push coming in here because most of Atlanta off a respawn. Yeah, they definitely have some openings here. I mean, they're taking that church side control. You got player two and Shoku pushing the back. He does get taken down. Hotbox trying to find some progress here toward that plat side. And I think Denver may be falling to the similar trap that they found themselves in in the, in the first round of this game. They, they're kind of all over the place here as a unit. They're, you know, sending two one ones. You know, I want to see four toward a certain area. And, you know, right now, if you want to group around a player, that person has to be player one. Fallen has found so much room here. But as I say that, He's already been taken down. Yeah, I mean, Fallen trying his best in the back for a very long time. Here we're going to gonna see Hotbox God with that AS-44 making a move towards the back before getting taken down. Dak as well, same thing. And now Denver, they got 14 seconds here. They don't have a choice. They have to full sprint at this hill. Only a couple lives remaining as well. But look at that, number eight in P5. Going to pick up a nice, easy two-piece right there. Those players in the wiser, you know, nothing you can really do when a player's chilling in a corner like that. You can't check everything with 10 seconds left. And that's going to be a nice little round win for Atlanta days. And they only let up three ticks. And so far, the DF defenses on this map have been pretty good. Yeah, they absolutely have. Neither team gotten more than one capture point here um, in this game so far. Denver obviously up three ticks, but Atlanta days going to get a chance to close out uh, not just this map, but also the series here in, in the championship semifinals. So... This, this round, very, very serious for Denver Surrender. You know, not only are you going to want to win this one, but you're also going to want to keep the lives close uh, or, you know, in your favor. But that's a great start for Poncho, I may say so myself. On a five, James on a five on his own, and Denver Surrender up now in the spawn of their map. Yeah, I mean, just seeing everyone on a five streak again, I feel like I'm watching the S&D all over again. The guys of Atlanta just picking up these nice early kills. Look at Poncho flipping left, right, left, right. Doesn't care. He's watching every single lane on the map at the same time. He's going to pick up that glide bomb. That A point about to be captured as well. And that's going to be just Jay chilling over by himself as his teammates all push out this B side. And that's going to allow for the Atlanta days. They're taking A and B at the exact same time. Poncho's in a position to just wreak havoc on these spawns. He's already on an eight streak. About to go on a nine because he's behind Fallen, who's going to have no idea. He's going to pick up that eight. Maybe, hopefully, he gets his ninth and tenth. Who knows what's going to happen? But Atlanta days is absolutely frying on this offense at the moment. Yeah, Denver Surrender, do, do keep that B point safe. But they've lost a lot of lives in the process. Down 10 lives now are the Denver Surrender. Atlanta Days making their way over toward that B point. The Glide Bomb coming in for the Atlanta Days. They find Shoku, now player three in Hotbox, the only player in 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 range of this, this control point. So with the Itra Burst in hand now, I mean, this is a this is an interesting game for Hotbox. Let me let me say that. The guy does uh, weapon swap quite a bit. He's trying to find something that works, but look at that life count right now. Denver Surrender only having eight lives draft. Atlanta Days, they've got 20. You know, things are looking pretty crazy. Fallen trying to even that out the best he can. He's on that nice little two straight, picks up a nice two piece. He's got one more to deal with up top. Almost gets it, but James does get that nice kill. Shoku with the Tommy gun. Let's go, baby. Let's go. A couple extra shots there. Make sure the body is dead. Always double tap. It's like we're playing zombies or something. But uh, Denver on this defense right now, they got a minute and a half to hold and only six lives against the 17 of Atlanta days. I mean, six lives to the minute 30 left is not a situation you want to be in. It's crisp shots from the MP40 of Fallen, but Atlanta days still uh, trying to find some map control here. 
there is only one kind of near that spawn side of the map, but they know that Shoku is snuck through, I'm pretty sure. They're looking for him because they just want to dwindle these lives down as quick as they can. Shoku does get taken down, Ooh. fallen as well. That leaves, um, that's going to be Shoku, Hotbox, and Dak, the last ones alive, and I think they've taken Solus there around that tank. Hey, we got all the exotic guns on the map at one time, though. This is going to be pretty interesting. Shoku and Hotbox got to turn out. Oh, he says stop. He says halt in the name of the law. It doesn't quite work out, Shoku. A few extra little shots there. No big deal. It is what it is. One player left. That player is going to go down, and Atlanta Day is going to take the W. And I think I think there was some passion behind that last gunfight there. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Shoku... Bit. Shoku was really making sure that uh that hey. he was he was good there. I mean they need every kill they can get right there, so I you I'm know I can't blame Shoku. Perfect.